Park Hill in Wiltshire, the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh go to the races. Her Majesty makes a tour of the course and inspects a newly built jump that looks like trouble for the jockeys. The United Services point-to-point -point meeting is soon to start, so the Queen steps into a Land Rover to make her way back to the stands. In the paddock, the parade is on for the Coronation Cup, the big race of the day. The crowd gets a glimpse of Her Majesty, who spends a few moments studying the runners. Now the horses make for the starting post. There's a good feel for the race that will take them over three miles of really tough jumps and ditches. Her Majesty watches closely as the runners get into line, and they're off. The field quickly straggles out, but they've a long way to go yet, and placing doesn't matter much at this stage. Here they come into the first jump. They're setting a good pace out in front as they head away from the stands. Now into jump number five, and there's one down. The field's thinning quite a lot as they race into the country. Not much further to go, but the jumps are taking their toll. One goes down, and there's another out of the race. Two horses take the last jump together. Paul Prize just in front, but it's a neck-and-neck -neck battle right up to the finish. At the post, it's T.H. Edgar on Paul Pry, who wins by nearly a length. Despite the cold, Her Majesty presents the trophies to the winning riders herself. The most coveted and most handsome prize of the day is the Coronation Cup. <laughs>